far less interruption from other people, you know, far less interruption to other people. And again, as long as people continue to put that information into SharePoint, the knowledge continues to grow. The value of the business continues, continues, continues to improve. Now, many people complain and I say, oh, that SharePoint's great, but it looks terrible. I'll give you three examples of what level you can take SharePoint to. If you go to Ferrari.com and have a look at their website, that website is based on SharePoint technology. Again, sure, it's a high-end example. It's, they have a lot more money to be able to throw at SharePoint development. But again, it may give customers uh, an easier feeling to know that a company like Ferrari is using SharePoint. And you will find a case study on the Microsoft website, which is also in the resources that I'll provide, that gives a nice video and an explanation and a whole case study around how Ferrari used SharePoint and why they chose SharePoint. Another example of a public-facing internet website built on SharePoint is Hawaiian Air. Okay, so this is their public website for taking bookings, checking in, checking out, communicating with their customers. Again, a public web SharePoint site. And finally, Another example is the Carlsberg Group. Again, I'd recommend that you have a look at these websites and see how they don't really look like SharePoint anymore. It shows you the level that SharePoint can be taken to. It may look basic, but again, given the time, given the investment, you can get a huge return because it's based on a standard platform. Again, you can create some pretty amazing things using tools like Word and Excel. Again, they give you the ability to create that and customers feel that comfort because they have the tools to allow them to go to whatever level they do choose. So, the next question is, is why do we want SharePoint? SharePoint's going to add value to a business. All this information that's currently in employees' heads or floating around or on bits of paper isn't adding to the value of the business. Who knows where it is? But if it's all in SharePoint, then it's adding to the value. SharePoint allows you to create a point of differentiation. How many people out there know about SharePoint? How many people sell SharePoint? How many people are selling collaboration solutions? There aren't a lot of people out there. You can create templates with SharePoint. So again, you could create a template that suits a vertical market. You could take that template and apply it to as many similar clients as you want. SharePoint allows you, because it's a tool, the ability to create templates of the information you work with. An important point too is that SharePoint helps reduce paper. I know the paperless office is a fallacy, but again, many clients are looking to remove, reduce the amount of paper that they use in their office. If all that information goes into SharePoint, rather than going into something like uh, just a normal file and folder, it's much easier for them to work with. And also, don't forget that SharePoint doesn't necessarily have to be deployed in-house only. You can get SharePoint via the cloud. Again, there are some functionality differences, but look at the Microsoft Business Productivity Online Suite. That allows you to deploy SharePoint directly to the customer without any infrastructure. You can go to a client and you can say, this is SharePoint. They say, I love it. You can then give them SharePoint within a matter of minutes because you're deploying it across the cloud. Okay, This has major advantages compared to the old world of going back, doing a quote, in, getting approval, getting equipment installed, and, in, and actually coming in and getting the solution to work. So don't rule out the fact that any skills or any focus on SharePoint can also be deployed across the cloud. Working with SharePoint, you can work on skills in Windows SharePoint services, but that can also allow a migration into the world of MOS, the enterprise level version. As we all know, the people at the enterprise, businesses at the enterprise are far more willing to pay the amount of money required for the expertise that you may have. So again, starting with skills in SharePoint, Windows SharePoint, you have an upgrade path, you have a growth path to move into the enterprise level if you so desire. 
And another reason that I believe that you need to be looking at SharePoint is the new version is just around the corner. And as we all know, it creates a buzz. There are new features, there are new enhancements, and it will work and integrate with the new version of Office. So again, an opportunity to go and talk to people, to show people, to demonstrate the fact that a new version from Microsoft is available and is something they should be looking at. So let's have a look at the business benefits. Bottom line is, is Windows SharePoint services is free. When you go and talk to a customer about Windows SharePoint and you show them all the features, they're going to ask you how much it is. You can simply go to them and say, the software's free, we can download it. And again, that reduces a point of friction. You can tell them that it increases their productivity. They're able to communicate, collaborate, store information, right, and generally be more productive. How much time is wasted searching for information on their hard drives? How much information time is wasted creating duplicate information? If there's one simple location for it to reside, that makes a lot of business benefit. Like a spreadsheet, like Word, SharePoint is easily customised. You can easily add information. You can easily make it look different. You can easily make it look like Ferrari.com if you so choose. Importantly, it allows staff and customers to enter their own data. Why as a business do you necessarily need one person entering all the accounts information? Why do you need one person entering all the personnel data? Using SharePoint as a front end onto databases or other lists, you can get customers and staff to enter their own data and reduce the amount of time wasted within a business. The bottom line is, at the end of the day, it saves money. It reduces a lot of the costs, a lot of the hidden time-wasting things inside a business. So let's have a look at the versions. There are two, the oldest, one, oh, there was version two. Version two was available on SPS 2003 by default. The current version is Windows SharePoint Services version three, which is available by default on SPS 2008. And it can be installed on SPS 2003 or run standalone. And finally, WSS version 2010 will be available very soon. So the most important version you need to worry about currently is Windows SharePoint Services version 3, which comes by default with SPS 2008, but can be installed on any other Windows server generally. So what are the differences between version 2 and version 3? Version 3 is built on SQL Server, does not run on MSDE, does not suffer a lot of the limitations of MSDE like a 4 gig database. It has item level security, which means that you can put security on each individual item in a list if you desire. It includes something called wikis, so very much like Wikipedia, for sharing knowledge and information, an ad hoc way to do that. It includes the ability to create blogs. Okay? Blogs are a great way of sharing information. It gives you much better external access. So again, it's designed to be accessed externally, where WSS version 2 had some limitations. WSS version 3 has a built-in mobile version, which can be viewed on Windows mobile versions. It's basically a cut-down version, which allows it to be accessed via a mobile device much quicker. Again, a big advantage of version 3. And it includes the workflows, which you spoke about, the automation processes required to reduce, uh, reduce loss and improve productivity. So a quick look at SharePoint 2010. The beta is due out this month. The release to manufacture will probably be around early 2.10, February or March, we believe. It'll be 64-bit only, so it needs to run on a 64-bit platform. So if you're thinking about implementing SharePoint, think about going directly to a 64-bit operating system to allow easy migration. And it will include the ribbon interface. So again, it's a bit of a change from the norm. It's going to look and feel very much like Office. So we've got a little bit of time left. So let me just quickly give you an overview of the uh, site.